All right, welcome. In this little short little video, I'm going to show you how to do a very simple black and white painting with your airbrush. This is great for beginners. All right, let's get started. So the first thing is we're working on poster board and I'm working on a piece of wood, which is slightly damp. So that's going to make it so my paper doesn't uh, get all bent out of shape. And I've just sprayed a little bit of white down, a little bit of black. And just like spray paint art, you crinkle up the newspaper and brush it over and you get a texture. Now I'm working with airbrush and you can look up the video on how to mix the paints. I'm using a, a Harbor Freight Quick Change airbrush, uh, and you can go over the uh, planet a bunch of times, adding more white and uh, reusing the newspaper, uh, clean parts of the newspaper, and then when you've got a planet that you like, put a little white on the top, a little black on the bottom, and then you need a plate. Now, I've got just a regular plate that I got from Walmart or something, and I've taped a little bit of duct tape to the top so it's easy to put on and take off without moving it around. So I can gently put it right down on my planet and then I'm going to start creating my sky. So I'm going to spray a little white in the middle part of my painting and then I'm going to spray black along the top part. And sometimes you need to shake your, your paint a little bit if it's been sitting or you need to adjust the nozzle if it's not coming out enough. So I've done that and I'm spraying my black on above my white and below my white, underneath the planet. And that black part on the bottom is going to be ocean in our black and white painting. So I'm just filling it in. And I'll add just a little bit more white in case I got any overspray. And now I'm gonna make some stars. So I sprayed some white paint on just a piece of the poster board that I tore off. You can also use a palette knife if you've got a big thick one and I just shake it on my painting and I've got stars now. So I take my planet off and there's some magic. Great. Uh, magic for beginners. <laughs> so let's make our ocean underneath our planet. I'm taking just another sheet of the poster board. That long edge is using, I'm using that long edge to protect the painting above and get paint where I want my ocean to go. And I sprayed some white, not over the whole thing, but generally in the center. And a little bit of water on top of that. You can re-wet this with water or Windex. Windex is a window cleaner, window lean in uh, Europe, I believe. And then brush your finger across it to create water. It's that simple. And then I added a little black in the corners just to kind of uh, just frame the painting a little bit more to fade out those black uh, corners of the ocean. So our focus is on the center where the white ocean meets with the dark planet and the sky. All right, so that's our basic painting and you can put a little a little bit extra things in there. In this case, I'm going to put some palm trees. Just very simple. Just draw them in with a uh, paintbrush, dipping it into your paints. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm still figuring out how to film inside of my little spray booth and the angle at which I'm painting this palm tree is really awkward. So it's not the most spectacular palm tree you'll ever see. I've got to figure out how, to, how I can sit down in front of my painting and also film it. Uh, but this will give you an idea of how to, how to draw a palm tree, even, even from a very awkward angle. <laughs> Put one on one side and one on the other, and just make a simple painting. Now you can do this with a round brush or a square brush or a fan brush, and the palm trees will come out differently. So this is a way that you can do street painting or fair painting in a very different way with an airbrush. So let me know your thoughts. Here I'm painting on paper, but of course you could, you could do this on any non-absorbent surface. And I'm just adding in a little bit of, of land at the bottom. I can actually just brush that in with my finger and a little bit of black paint. And I'll put just the silhouette of a little bit of grass, dragging it out with my paintbrush. I do the same thing on the other side. Let's make some longer, prettier grass. There we go. I'm just really framing that painting. And there you go. You've done your first beginner painting, black and white, with an airbrush. Spray paint art style. I hope you have enjoyed this. And you continue to check out our lessons. And you go to airbrushpaintingsecrets.com and check out some more cool stuff. Ciao.